Hello, I'm Noah Borowski from Germany. I'm 18 years old and I have a dream. A dream of life. To make the infamous human dream of flying come true, you need ideally an aircraft which is small, as well as safe and can be controlled at certain points in three-dimensional space. Because multicopters exactly meet the requirements of such a project, and I'm an avid multicopter builder as well as flyer myself, I designed the following concept. Here you can see now the OMO, the one-man octocopter, in its core structure. The frame basically consists of two aluminum tubes that form an X, a round aluminum plate and an acrylic glass plate. The landing gear consists of four rotary pneumatic wheels, each with a piece of pipe. So the frame, bolted and welded, thus have a high stability despite low weight with a diameter of just 2.5 meters. Now let's take a look at the drive and the electronics. The drive, mainly consisting of the eight motors, propellers and controllers, has a total power output of about 72 kilowatts. The batteries provide the necessary energy and the flight control stabilizes the OMO using sensors as well as GPS. Only these components are sufficient to allow the OMO fly safely and stably. It also has a redundant motor assembly so that the OMO can still be flown and landed if an engine fails. This security system is only one of many that can be stored without problems on the frame. Now the question is, what is needed? Here you can see now two rounded tables, whose simple statement is the following. When I get together around 8000 euros, then I build a fully functional OMO, whose payload is up to 150 kilograms. This means that normal weight people can fly. In addition, for the next step, there is an optimization plan in which a half as heavy frame, more efficient propeller and some security systems such as a parachute come to use. So you can see that I am serious about the project. I have, despite my limited financial means, started to put the OMO in practice. And I have already managed to build the frame and charger. As you can see, the charger is simply connected to the normal mains power. It has a charging power of about 1000 Watt and charges the OMO within just 4 hours. Because I am not qualified to weld aluminum, I got myself help. Even at this point. Thank you guys! So if you think that the development of environmentally friendly vehicles should be promoted, if you think that one should allow everyone in the future to make his dream of flying simply sporty and safely come true, or if you think that one should support the construction of the first one-man octocopter, then, then I would highly appreciate it if you donate something. Thank you.